guys and welcome back to cloud web developer today i'm going to be adding a domain to a website that i developed in react.js so the thing that i'm going to do today is that i'm going to upload or deploy that website to aws amplify and with that like we did before in another tutorial we get a live version on the cloud that you can share you get a massive link that you can share to your friends to your employers whatever the thing is that that massive link is doesn't look professional right if you want to have a deployment a production a site you might want to have an actual www.mywebsite.com.org whatever and that's what we're going to be doing today in a previous uh tutorial as well i managed to bring a domain that i owned in godaddy called chesswikipedia.com i brought it over to route 53 in a past tutorial so you can check that if you're not sure how to do that and now that domain is in my route 53 so i have it but it doesn't have anything right so i want to associate that domain to this little website that i made here in in react which you can see on the screen which is this very basic thing it's just like an introduction and there's a chessboard by fritz courtesy by fritz so right now it's running on the local host 3000 so there is it's not deployed to the public yet and is here in my repository so it's important that you deploy this i'm gonna be using github but you have you can use other uh, version control providers like source tree or you can use the version control provider of aws the proprietary one but i suppose get github is the most common one it's free and so if you want to follow along or you have something similar that you want to deploy into the cloud you need to have a repository for your project in this case, I already have one, it's Chess Wikipedia. All the files are here for this site. And that's essentially where we're gonna to start today. So if you don't know how to do any of this, maybe you need to refresh on the past tutorials that I was talking about. But I'm gonna assume that you already know how to make an app on React, how you have like your repository on GitHub. And then from there, we're gonna move on to your Amplify console. Now, this tutorial, of course, assumes that you have an AWS account. Like I always say, if you don't know how to make one, there's gonna be a link at the bottom of the description. You need a credit card to make one. However, for this tutorial, everything is gonna be free because I already own the domain. If you need to buy a domain, that will cost you, but I already have the domain. All right, and we're gonna be using two services, the AWS uh, Amplify and AWS Route 53. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is in Amplify, I'm gonna go to the console, I'm gonna go to all apps, and you can see I have quite a few apps going on there. I'm gonna connect an app. And this is why you need to have your app in GitHub because it's gonna read from GitHub, but you can also have it in Bitbucket, GitLab, CodeCommit, uh, etc. So I'm gonna use GitHub, continue. If it's the first time you do this, you might need to authorize uh, GitHub to be able to be read by Amplify. I already done that before, it's really simple. You just have to put your password. And then when that's done, you will see like me here, this green line that the authorization was successful. Successful, And with that, GitHub um, Amplify can read your GitHub repositories. And I'm gonna look for my repository, Chess Wikipedia, next. And then everything I deployed today was in the master branch, but if you had other branches, you can deploy other branches as well. So master, and I'm gonna leave that as default. And click next. I'm gonna leave that as default as well. Keep going and just check your settings once again. Save and deploy. And this step takes um, about five minutes, but it's cool because you can see what's happening behind the scenes pretty much. It has been deployed, has been tested, and um, you can see here. So automatically you can see it's now provisioning all the resources needed to run this app. So it's gonna realize, oh, it's a React app. Oh, okay, I need to install these dependencies, etc. based on your JSON file. And then it's gonna go into build, deploy, verify. So it's not until you can verify that you will be able to see your website live on the cloud. So I'm gonna leave this pending. I'm gonna leave this uh, working on it while I go to Route 53. How do you go to Route 53 from your main console? You can just, I type R53 and it comes up. R53 is the DNS service of AWS. So in here you can buy domains, you can host things. Uh, right now I have four hosted zones, which mean I have four domains that have content. So Storyfy app, Movie Mate, iCarls Pro, which is my personal page, Gamer Guest, etc. And registered domains, 
I have more than four. I have other domains that I, for instance, have Apple Inspector, Chess Wikipedia. All these are kind of waiting for me to add content to them. So today I'm going to be using Chess Wikipedia. Uh, right. So the first thing we need to do is to add a hosted zone. Okay. To create a hosted zone, I'm going to click on create hosted zone. And then I'm going to type chesswikipedia.com. You can put a, a description for yourself. This is a chess related site. It's going to be a public hosted zone. Um, I don't need to add tags for the moment. I'm going to leave it like that. Continue. And with this, it creates, let me close all these messages. Uh, it created already the NS, the, so the DNS servers and the SOA records. Okay, that's all I need to do for now here. I'm going to go back onto Amplify. And as you can see in Amplify, Verify is finished. So the website is now live in this address right here. So if I click on it, you can see that, yeah, indeed, my React site with the chessboard and everything is there. And uh, I'm just going to make a bad move right there. So it works. The thing is that the address is this master, Amplify, etc. So I want to change that to chesswikipedia.com. So let's do that. Go back to Amplify Console, Domain Management, Add Domain, there, chesswikipedia.com, uh, Configure Domain. Okay, I'm just going to save. And once again, this is going to take a little bit of time, perhaps even more than the Amplify provisioning. But the best thing about this is the SSL creation is automatic. So SSL stands for Secure Socket Layers. I don't know if you ever noticed in some websites what it says HTTP colon slash slash. Like there is HTTPS, right? That means it's a secure socket layer. It means the communication between the client and the server is encrypted point to point. And so if somebody tries to snoop, in the middle of that communication, they're just gonna get gibberish. So it's it's essential. I mean, for this kind of website, it's perhaps overkill. But if you're building a banking website or you know is dealing with confidential information, you really wanna put that SSL certificate. Uh, on top of that, Google in the last couple of years is not indexing websites that does does not have SSL in their links. So if you do not have an HTTPS site it's not likely that you're gonna be able to be found in the Google search engine. So it's very important now to have an SSL. But the beautiful thing in here is that it's creating an SSL certificate for my website automatically. I didn't even have to ask for it. And it's configurating it and it's activating it. It's just doing everything for me behind the scenes. And so I cannot stress enough how amazing is this that Amplify is doing this for me automatically and without me having to pay extra as far as I know I don't think I'm being charged for this SSL certificate which is quite uncanny so I'm just gonna let it do its thing it's probably gonna take about 10 minutes especially the domain activation so when that's done I'll be back okay I'm back it's been about 30 minutes and I need to finish the filming so I just need to be patient for this to finish I don't need to do much else it created a couple CNAME records and it's just checking that uh, it's asking you to check that they actually exist and they do so is this one CCO5F1, uh, it's a C name, a canonical name kind of record. And on the other end, you see ACM validations, AWS. And indeed it's on this side, CCO5F, blah, blah, blah. And it's AWS validation. So I didn't create this record. It was created by um, AWS. And also uh, an Apex uh, record was created. I didn't create that. It was made by CloudFront and another C name made by CloudFront. So I haven't done any of these. Uh, so eventually what's gonna happen is it's gonna move on to domain activation and eventually you'll be able to go on to www, the name of your site.com. So I hope this was useful guys. Please comment, subscribe, like the video and follow me on my social medias. I'm adding a tutorial every week and I'm very happy to be able to help you. If you have a question, let me know. This is Carlos for Cloud and Web Developer. I see you next week. Bye-bye.